Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Perfect. Karma just knocked down Chuck Schumer's front door. He's stuck inside, afraid for his life. Democrat senior United States Senator in New York, Chuck Schumer, is the reason the government went on lockdown this week because he wanted more money for illegals than he did for our military. The shutdown was resolved when he folded like a cheap suit after acting as the hero for these so-called dreamers who ended up with nothing after Schumer cost active military several days of pay. It was a loss on all accounts for his stupid statement and now he's paying for it in a personal way with who just stormed his New York City house. He had it coming. When liberals and illegals don't get what they want they have only one reaction. Schumer is feeling the full wrath of that now as Trump gets the last laugh. The Washington Post reports. In the hours after U.S. senators struck a deal to end the government shutdown Monday, scores gathered near the U.S. Capitol to protest what they saw as the Democrats' decision to abandon the Dreamers, young undocumented immigrants who were brought to the United States illegally as children or overstayed their visas. One by one, the demonstrators called out the names of Democrats who voted with Republicans to end the shutdown, shouting, shame. On Tuesday, a group of about 100 protesters gathered again rallying in Upper Senate Park and then heading to lawmakers' offices to demand the vote on immigration legislation that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, has vaguely promised. Those protests continue now into the dark and have also taken a turn down Schumer Street where he lives in New York City, which isn't coincidental. They thought he was going to be the guy to give them what he wanted, but he caved and now they're showing him one of the reasons Trump is so strong on immigration. They aren't here to work, they overstayed their visas, and don't want all the freebies of living in our free country to be taken away. Breitbart was there live to show the dreamers storming Schumer's personal residence. He can't advocate for them all he wants, thinking that there's no threat of having to face the consequences of his deplorable decisions for American citizens. However, now he's getting the perfect dose of karma. The Post continues. Walter Barrientos, of the immigrant rights organization Make the Road New York said his group and those aligned with it have sponsored actions in New York as well as in downtown Washington, holding rallies and vigils in Manhattan and at the home of Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer, DNY, who led the shutdown effort but then backed down over the weekend. Dreamers and their advocates gather near the U.S. Capitol on Monday to declare their frustration at the reopening of the federal government without protections for immigrants. We are planning on being relentless in our pressure for the next two weeks, Barrientos said. We can't allow him to fail us again. Since the Trump administration announced in September that it would phase out the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program, immigrants and their advocates have protested, flooded congressional offices and been arrested in acts of civil disobedience, all in an effort to force a vote on legislation that would allow Dreamers to stay illegally in the United States. Senate Democrats, led by Schumer, forced a government shutdown last week, refusing to support a last-minute spending bill if it did not include protections for Dreamers. But by Monday, after a weekend of Republican claims that Democrats had prioritized illegal immigrants over American citizens, senators from swing states were telling Schumer that their stance could hurt them, badly, in November's midterm elections. The Democrats then accepted a deal they had rejected Sunday, agreeing to reopen the government as long as McConnell said it would be my intention to consider immigration legislation in coming weeks. There are multiple competing efforts in both chambers of Congress to determine what such legislation would say, however. And even if a bill allowing Dreamers to stay past the Senate, it could face an uphill battle in the more conservative House. Senators who voted today for the promise of a symbolic vote on the DREAM Act are not resisting Trump, they are enablers, Cristina Jimenez, executive director and co-founder of United We Dream, the nation's largest immigrant youth-led organization, said Monday. Republicans played games too, holding the DREAM Act hostage and pitted the safety of immigrant youth against children's health care, proving their cruelty to the world. Schumer needs to let all his dreamer friends in, take his own advice and see how that ends up. If it's good for America then he should open up his own home and prove it. Stand by your socialistic convictions and share your wealth, better than taxpayers being taxed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.